G'day guys, it's Imo here from Al and Imo Handmade and today I'm going to show you how to build these timber picture frames and you can access the step-by-step -step instructions at alanimo.com.au For this project I used Vic Ash hardwood I had lying around the workshop. I purchased some glass, backboard and mounting card from a $2 shop and some triangle hooks for the back. Because I use scrap timber, I ripped my pieces down to 19mm by 30mm using my table saw. However, you could easily pick up timber that is already cut to size. The beauty about this project is that pretty much anything goes and you can decide the sizes of your frame and timber you'd like to use and just follow the next step. I measured and made a note of the size of my internal pieces, the glass, backing board and mounting card. My mounting card was the largest piece by just a couple of millimetres, so I used this as my size guide. I also made a note of the thickness of all of my pieces when placed together and decided to create a 7mm cutout. I marked my timber 7mm by 7mm and set my table saw using my mark as a guide and you can also use a router or circular saw for your cuts. I ran my piece through creating the cutout. To cut my mitres, I set my drop saw to 45 degrees and cut my first mitre, making sure to run the blade really slowly. And then once cut through, I let my blade slow down before pulling it out to ensure a really nice clean cut. From the short edge, I measured my frame width, making a mark and using my set square drew my 45 degree angle. Using the drop saw, I made sure to cut on the outside of the line again, guiding the blade through nice and slowly. I repeated this step until all four sides were cut. I glued and used my nail gun to join the corners. In the future, I would clamp my frame to a flat surface to make sure those joins were easier and more accurate. I then punched in any protruding nails. I sanded my frames using my orbital sander and then used hand sandpaper for the edges. We used picture triangles to keep the glass, mounting board and backing into place as our frames will be freestanding on shelves in our house. However, if I decide to hang them in the future, I'll change these over with smaller frame stays and move the picture triangle down lower so they hang more flush against the wall. We absolutely loved the colour of the frames once finished, so we held off on sealing them until we pick up a product called Osmo Raw. This is an oil wax product and that will keep the frames nice and light just as they are now. So at this stage, I'll also fill in the nail holes with putty that matches the final colour of the finished timber. I then filled my frames with my beautiful photos. Finally, we're getting around to framing our wedding pictures. And that's it guys, you can access the step-by-step -step instructions for this project at alanimo.com.au. Enjoy!